guys, welcome back to Ash Dash. For today's video, it's going to be a little mini favorites video. I haven't filmed a whole lot in February, so I also kind of wanted to explain what has been going on this month because I haven't been able to film and it's really sad. But also, very exciting news. So let's just get right into it. <laughs> This sweater I'm wearing right now, it's just a fuzzy, fluffy sweater that I've been obsessed with all month. It's been so warm and so cozy. This has gotten me through many a day of work where I just was not feeling that great, but I needed to go into work, so this is what got me through. <laughs> also, I have a few makeup products. I didn't share any last month. I got this little Too Faced heart shaped blush. <laughs> it has definitely become a favorite and I'm wearing it right now. So, I don't know if you can really tell, but I really love it. It's pink and sparkly and perfect for spring I feel like and I got it right before Valentine's Day because I was just like I want to buy a thing for me for myself on Valentine's Day I know that's kind of cheesy but whatever I did it it happened I also got this Urban Decay heavy metal glitter liner so this is like amazing and I'm wearing it right now so I'll show you, kind of, I think you can kind of see. It's very sparkly, and I'm wearing it like more towards the inner. So hopefully you can see that on. But this is what it looks like. Ooh, sparkles, yes. It is in Distortion, that's the color I got. I decided to get this like iridescent um, white colored it's just so pretty I love it and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me video this next month for like kind of a spring inspired look so stay tuned for that because I will be using both of these products all right so I have one last favorite for this month me and Matt have both been kind of sick and both been just kind of moping around that apartment not doing anything special not really going out that much so we found a series on Netflix that we're both in love with. Well, we're, I loved the first season, like the first season. Okay, let me just tell you what it is before I start rambling on. Uh, it's called Gotham. It is about Bruce Wayne or Batman, as you may know him. Um, but it's actually about when he was a little kid, like right when his parents died, like it shows them getting murdered in front of him. It's pretty messed up, so if you don't like crime, bloody shows or movies, you're probably not going to like this, but I really like that sort of thing. So it was really cool, and I they focused a lot on Jim Gordon. I think he's like the commissioner in the Batman movies. I haven't watched them in a long time, I'm not going to lie. But the cool thing about it is he's a, a detective in this series, and it kind of follows more of his story and kind of like goes into different crimes and also shows you background stories on a bunch of the supervillains that are in Batman, which I found was pretty fascinating. I kind of like that sort of thing. Plus the styling in the movie is really awesome. The clothes and makeup, especially for one of the characters, uh, I'm just going to say her name. I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but Fish Mooney is my favorite character in the first season. She's so awesome. Her style is so badass. I love all of her makeup looks. Seriously, goals right there. <laughs> I wouldn't say life goals, but definitely wardrobe and makeup goals. Her character's pretty dark, but I like her. She's really cool. So yeah, definitely check that out. We did start watching the second season and kind of have mixed feelings about it. It's definitely way different. Not way different. It's still going off of the first season. It's just, I don't know. I'm just not digging it as much. I, I don't know. You guys watch it. Tell me what you think down below if you've already seen it. Let's talk about it. I want to talk about it because I really loved the first season. I thought it was really awesome and I hope 
the second season kind of picks back up. We haven't seen all the episodes, so who knows, maybe it'll get a little better again. We've also been preparing for something pretty exciting. I got a baby hedgehog. Yep, I got him. I've been wanting a little hedgehog for like years now and I haven't been in a good place to like a living situation to like have a pet I felt like so it's taken some time and definitely taken some preparation the past few months to get ready to have this little dude with us um yeah I just I am not the type of person anymore like I'm not gonna say I never was but I really highly recommend preparing for a pet like doing your research making sure you have everything in order before you get a pet because it's a big responsibility and you don't want to just like hop into getting a little creature that depends on you and then being like oh my god this is way too much and then just having to get rid of them like i think that's really irresponsible and not cool so that's what we've been doing for a while now but especially this past month we've been getting everything finalized because I finally have him now and his name is Gizmo. Two things about right now is he, we just got him last week. So he's still kind of like, you know, he's a baby and he's still not fully used to living in his new home. So he's adjusting and then on top of that, he is quilling right now, which actually is equivalent to him like teething like growing in his baby teeth but instead he's like growing quills and losing quills and I guess it's a very uncomfortable thing for the poor little dudes. He's a little bit of a grumpy hedgehog right now. So that was everything for this favorites video and kind of big announcement slash update. I'm so happy I got to show you guys Gizmo a little bit and talk about him because seriously I've just been so excited about this hedgehog. I hope you guys still enjoyed this video and definitely give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of Gizmo because I'd love to like kind of film more of the process of him growing up because you know that's definitely something I personally would like to look back on and maybe you guys would like to see that too so let me know. Thumbs up, uh, comments down below if you have opinions on Gotham or opinions on anything I showed or shared with you guys. Um, and until next video, which I have a lot in store for this month, so just a heads up. There's a lot more videos coming your way. So until next time, bye!